Good afternoon. It is March 10th and this week we are working on subtraction strategies. A lot of students are still getting stuck thinking that they can do 2 minus 5 is 3 and so a lot of students want to say that the answer to this equation 52 minus 35 is 23 which is incorrect. So here is uh, a way to help them. This is a computer app that I can send you as well that you can find on the computer. So I wrote 52 minus 35. So, so far we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. What happens next is a lot of students see minus 35 and they actually want to add 35 more. So what we're teaching them is these are the two parts here that equal this total. This is the biggest number. So what we're trying to do is have them go 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, but we need to take away 35. So what this program does is you can touch this, you can break it up, and now we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So they can also write with this. So we have 35 here. And what's left is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 left. So until students understand that we are just separating them into two parts and finding what's left, they will not be able um, to borrow. So you might be wondering, well, they won't always have a computer around them. So today we learned what we called the drawing strategy. So to transfer this onto paper, 52 minus 35 is equal to, um, they can draw this. So 52 would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. And now they're taking away 35. Okay, well, I can take 30, but I don't have enough to take five. So just like the computer, we're going to exchange, we're gonna make a trade. We're gonna trade this 10 in for 10 ones. So we're gonna switch that out. Now I still separated my 30. Now I can separate the five. And now what we have left is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And in order to check their answers, they can always add 17 plus 35 to see if it makes 52. So let's check it. 5 and 7 is 12, 30 and 10 is 40. And we know that 40 plus 12 is 52. So my drawing strategy worked. So this is a strategy we worked on today for subtraction.